Good morning guys, welcome to the video. A very busy day planned. Got things to study for, videos to edit, gotta work out, gotta go to work, probably forgetting something. I'm headed to campus right now to work out. I also have to take care of some things on campus. And a just quick update, so I told you guys I'm getting certified in strength and conditioning. And I'm officially taking that exam May 28th. So I'm very excited about that, continue studying. Take you guys along that, keep you updated, but Let's see what the rest of the day has in store. Stop number one done. Checking things off the list, getting things done early on in the day. Highly recommend you guys do that. Make a list the night before of everything you want to get done that day, that week, and you'll get things done. It makes it more realistic. If you don't love what you do, if what you're doing doesn't keep you up at night, wake you up in the morning, you are wasting your time. Uh, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. You know, I make these to-do lists every night, the day before, so I can stay organized, stay on top of things, get things done, and every day I'm another step closer to my goals. You know, so many times in life, people are gonna tell you, no, you can't do this. No, it's not right for you. Oh, you're a girl, you shouldn't be doing that. You'll never reach that. Why don't you try this? And I can always point those people out right away, especially in the gym, you know, they see me filming and they're like, oh, what are you doing? You know, I give them a little bit about YouTube and what I do in social media. And they're like, oh yeah, like good luck with that. And there's other people like, oh, that's awesome. Like, what's your name? Let me follow you. And those people are the people you need to surround yourself. The people who say like, oh yeah, good luck. They're the ones that are like, <laughs> nice try, but she's never gonna make it. You know, I went to school for education. I thought I was gonna teach right after college and then eventually get into fitness. But I've been given this opportunity back at home to internship at a gym and falling in love with that, get to talk to you guys, get to do videos, social media, Instagram, Twitter. So out of college, you know what, I'm not teaching. I'm going into the fitness industry and I love it. Um, you know, last night I couldn't wait to get up this morning so I could tackle everything on my list so I, should, so I could get closer to my goals. And it just like, sometimes it just leaves me speechless because it's like, I have found what I love to do and I enjoy it and I get up every morning and I'm excited to continue going to those goals, to continue growing myself and helping others and learning every single day. And just, you know, surround yourself with those people that are going to get you there. I'm here at school, I've got two months left until I graduate and I cannot wait to move on from here. Um, so many things have gone on in the past and you know just makes me want to surround myself back at home with people who are going to help me get to where I want to go so you know even if you're stuck in a position right now you don't have to be there forever like that's how I feel right now I'm stuck here in school and I feel like it's holding me back but I know it's not I'm getting a great education at a great school and you know I'm almost done with that it's gotten me this far I just can't wait to further everything and I hope you guys can see that in my videos. Um, yeah, like I said, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. I've got almost everything done on my list already. And I'm just so excited with how everything is going and how everything is playing out and 
ideas that I'm getting information and advice and it is just awesome and I'm so glad I get to take you guys along with me it just uh, like when you know you've got something you just can't you can't wait to just hold on to it all and see it all come to fruition and that's what's happening right now I know not everything's gonna happen overnight and just with like lifting you don't want to reach your max potential in the first year or two that you're lifting you want to start lifting in your teens and be able to go till your 30s 40s you know that's what's so great about fitness and nutrition and getting into something like this I know I'm renting on but the last thing that I would just want to say is so many people will look at people in the fitness industry and say that you know we're obsessed or we're addicted to the gym you know it's unhealthy we can't step away from it but since when is doing something that's good for you good for your body good for your health a bad thing you know someone told me they'll give up drinking for a week if I give up the gym for a week and when they said that, I was just like, well, why would I stop doing something that's good for me? Why would I stop doing something that is going to put myself in a good direction? And, you know, health-wise, that's great. Yes, people can take the gym too far. You've got steroids, uh, you know, just staying in the gym for hours and hours or doing cardio or you're not doing the right form, you're getting hurt and stuff like that. Yes, I understand, but if you're doing it the right way, for good reasons and you know what you're doing or maybe you don't know everything but you are learning and you are accepting criticism and advice so when someone told me they'll give up drinking if I give up the gym it's just like listen to what that says so I'm gonna go hit this workout I hope you guys enjoyed this little rant um, and kind of kind of see just how excited I am with everything that's going on um, a lot of really great things to come, and I am super excited. You will see everything, but I'm at school gym. As you can tell, this is our spin room. They have spin classes. Spin classes are pretty good. But here at school, I'm going to do a leg workout and shoulders, and it's just going to be light, but a lot of reps. Everything will be in the um, four, at least four sets for everything, and in the 10 to, 12, uh, 10 to 20 rep range, can be really light a good sweat and it is cardio day so 20 about 20 minutes of cardio which will get me to 200 calories that is the plan but that's it the gains t-shirt pocket it but uh yeah that's all i gotta say so thank you guys and stay tuned for the rest of the video
someone want to call me an Uber to get back to my house. <laughs> but in all seriousness, that was an awesome workout. Legs are on fire. Pretty good. So, definitely going to be sore tomorrow. Also hit shoulders. Didn't get everything on film, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Blast Up Company for t-shirts like this. So comfortable. Great material. Looks good. But I'm going to end the video there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Just in the mode. I want to get that on camera for you guys. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's going to be a collab, which should be pretty exciting. I'm excited for it. I'm going to um, meet up with another subscriber, another YouTuber. So it should be pretty good. But just going to end the video there. Hope you guys all enjoyed it and can take something from this. It really meant a lot to me. You guys mean a lot to me. Great things to come. Stay tuned for tomorrow. And I'll see you guys then. As always, have a great week.